Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Hudson. Welcome back to The Witcher 2. In the last one, we were uh, heading towards the battle. The battle, the Siege of Vergen. And uh, we're trying to find Sheila. And I have no idea what to expect, but I just hear a lot of people yelling. Oh, jeez. I literally, I can't hear a damn thing that they're saying because people are like cutting each other's heads off in the background. Nice, Good, nicely done. Nothing dwarven about that. There's the bridge, let's go. Has a sword, kicks him instead. I have no idea where I'm going. And who the hell is this guy? Is this a random fire doll over here? I'll take you on, bitch. It's some pretty nice Sauron's Ring cosplay. I like it a lot. I made it. Let's do it. I'll see you in the locker room. Where are they? No idea. Tell me or I'll... Don't make me laugh. You wouldn't let me out of your mind anyway. A soothsayer now. Oh, Kill now we're fighting the him. king? Why do I have to sit there for three seconds when the cutscene ends and let them have the first hack of my dick? That's so dumb. Oh, jeez, the king's after me now? Come on, man, really? It's a little cramped in here. It's a little cramped. Yeah, it's just a little bit cramped. A little bit. Burn. Burn, Henselt. For your insolence. For your insolence. Now beat us. Uh, you can certainly fence. It seems I've met my match. You've won the battle, but lost the war. The city's in my hands. And you're in mine. For the good of the Temerian crown, Vernon Roach is prepared to do anything. If needed, he becomes a murderer and requires others to do the same. Bernard Lurido had only disdain for the world, gave it nothing but suffering. I helped Roach, joined him and his people, and I had to face another choice. Killing the commander of a forgotten trading post is not the same as killing a king. Even if both are murderers and rapists. Vernon Roach, Temerian Cockerel of the Blue Stripes, what will you do with me? You know perfectly well. You won't kill me. You wouldn't dare. I'm the King of Kedwin and soon of Lormark. The North won't survive without me. I've won. Do you know why I rushed into battle? Do you? I had to resolve it before Loch Muin. He's playing for time. Let's kill him. Wait. Tell us, King. What's going to happen in Loch Muin? A new world order. New borders. Everything will change. All the kings and princes of the North will be there. Do you know the old saying? He who controls the Pontar Valley controls the North. Have the mages been invited? It's their idea. They want to revive the council and conclave. They want to regain their rights and privileges, their place in society. What tripe. I've outsmarted them all. I'll be the one to dictate treaties. I'll show them who's ruler. You had my men killed. Of course I had them killed. What do you do with spies in Temeria? Give them awards? None of those hanged were part of the plot. Only me. 
You know the saying, where there's smoke, there's fire. Your villainy knows no bounds. What do you call villainy? The fact that I've made Ketwin stronger than ever? You fool. I'm the last ruler of the North whom Nilfgaard must respect. And it will. Witcher, reason with him. Are murder and rape royal virtues of the New Order too? Every wench dreams of being plowed by a king. And Vess? Did she complain to you? I thought she liked it. She squeaked like an unoiled hinge. So this is what I'm thinking. We either let Roach kill the king, but there's been a lot of kings dying and causes like disarray across the land. And I feel like that would be much worse for the people. They'd probably rather have a ruler that's stern and just a complete dickbag then no ruler at all, and everybody's like, hell breaks loose and there's no law whatsoever. But you know what, fuck it. Fuck it, hate this guy. I'm leaving you two alone. Squeaky hinge. Funny, very funny. You wouldn't dare. Enough of this plowing chatter. Someone needs to die, and I'll sleep better for it. I am Henselt of Ardkarig, the last of the unicorns. I won't beg for mercy. Look me in the eyes. Go on! Take your revenge! <laughs> A flea has bitten a lion! Rip. So now we're tracking a Kingslayer as a Kingslayer. Only we know what happened here. Well, and Hensel. The sooner we forget it, the better. I'll erase it from my memory. Sheila teleported herself to Loch Main. Where there's Sheila, there's Letho. The murderers are gathering for their peace talks. We have to be there. It really didn't make sense for the king. I mean, it did because he was a rapist Sheila and a killer. Sheila to but... Tanserville. I'd sensed from the start that some dark mystery lay behind that cold countenance. Following the demise of the council and conclave, there was no one left to keep the mages in line. But regicide? Why? What was this all about? It seemed these questions would be answered at Loch Muin, an ancient city amidst mountains, the remnants of the civilization of the Vrans, whose dusk had come long ago. And you would be right to ask, why did you not set out for Loch Muin, Master Dandelion? Your humble servant and chronicler was forced to flee the Pontar Valley, as he very well might have paid with his life for his heroic stand against King Henselt. And to allow oneself to be humbly slaughtered, consigning to oblivion this account of incredible events, would be a grave transgression against the arts and letters. Yet forever feeling a vast shared responsibility for the fate of the North, I dispatched to Loch Muin my faithful and capable friend, Geralt of Rivia. Have I mentioned his disdain for politics? Well, it was at Loch Muin where he could finally give vent to it. Has Radovid's messenger been by? Yes, sir. And what did he say? Tamaria cannot survive. The kingdom will be divided. The nobles are riled. Constable Natalis stands on shaky ground. Hmm. <laughs> the loyal old Natalis will get kicked in the ass. How predictable. And they nearly reached an agreement, but without Voltaire's daughter, it didn't work out. Perfect. Are the quarters ready? There is a little problem. Then we must look at this problem. Put my apple. Mm. There's no door. We can't lock her in a doorless cell. I can see that, you fool. Out of my way. Uncle Deathmold will cast a tiny spell on your little house. 
Versa Anel. We won't let that naughty Natalis get you. Clear up in here. This is Loch Muin, not a bloody pigsty. Marshal Rorpanek was a cruel, bloodthirsty prick, true. But the times were different. He had his men murder every last elf in Loch Muin. For years, Jorveth and his ilk have been using that banner to wipe their asses clean of the shit they do. In wartime, a commander's forced to make all kinds of decisions. It's as simple as that. Yeah, and I'm sure it lay really heavily on Rorpanek's conscience. Bollocks again. I've already admitted he was a prick. Are you defending the Enche? They've got barrels of blood on their hands as well. With the Vrans gone, we had to safeguard this source of the power, safeguard this historic city. <laughs> Elven driven. Heaps of lizard-like bones were found in nearby caves, all bearing traces of sword cuts. Uh, think what you will. I'm more interested in the city's current inhabitants. Why am I worried you're going to do something really stupid once we get there? Above all, I'll find the cure to my suffering. Deathmold was just a pawn in Henselt's hands. Deathmold is a bloody murderer, and Henselt was a king. A king I killed. He didn't believe I'd do it till the very end. Nor did I. It's not something I want to discuss again. I don't know if I'll ever strike those images from my mind, but I know I don't want to talk about it. Taking revenge on Deathmold won't change a thing. Oh, but it will. The ghosts of my comrades will drink to my health. So like I was saying, okay, dude, stop dogging. I selected and trained those men. Stop dogging. True. Go fight those harpies, you jerk. We didn't really have to fulfill his, Roach's revenge, considering Roach was trying to overthrow. He was leading the rebellion against the king, so of course the king tried to kill his men and stop Roach. So it was kind of just a weird backward situation where Roach kind of got what came to him, but we said fuck it because we knew that the king was a, was a dick and all of our friends hated him anyways, so oh well. So here we are in the new city. I think it said something about like the Enclave, which sounds like all the wizards and witches are getting together. And uh, now we're in the new city trying to talk we're to the king. We're here to meet King Radovid. Have you been granted an official audience? We have information about the Kingslayers. Everyone knows the killer is the Witcher from Rivia. Then everyone is wrong. Not my concern. I cannot risk placing the King of Redania in harm's way. We bring Radovid news that will strengthen his position during the talks. Care to risk his wrath? Besides, this camp is swarming with soldiers. We'd have to be stupid or suicidal to attack Radovid. Hmm, pass then, if your news is so important. But one word from the king and you'll hang. Both of you. Don't you worry about us. Geralt of Rivia. Your Majesty. As usual, you turn up where and when you're least expected. And in such company. I never thought they'd make a soldier out of you. Associating with military men doesn't make one a mercenary, Your Grace. I'm no soldier. I'm here to settle some scores. The world has changed greatly since we met those few months ago. Temeria stands at the brink of civil war. Kedwin has taken the Pontar Valley by force, and a Nilfgaardian delegation plays a prominent role at the summit of the Northern Kingdoms. Voltest and Demavend are both dead. Though it seems we were signing treaties just yesterday. Henselt was butchered in Vergen. I've come here for help, your majesty. Wait, Witcher. Were it not for you, Henselt would have perished at the hands of an assassin. Am I right? Why do you ask about him, your majesty? Mere curiosity. But I understand if you'd rather not talk about it. Do you know how he died? Yes. I was there. Speak then. Henselt had Roach's unit murdered. I can't call it anything else. In doing that, he signed his own death sentence. In the chaos that followed the Battle of Vergen, we caught up to him in one of the houses. I killed him because it had to be done. It was just. And Deathmold is next on the list. That is the only reason I won't have you hanged, Vernon Roach. You said you needed help, Witcher. Tell me more. 
Sheila de Tanzerville is behind the murderers that hit Tamaria, Edern, and Kedwin. How do you know? We killed one of them in Edern. Deathmold used his magic to give me a glimpse of the past. I saw the assassin talking to others. They spoke of Sheila. One mage's magic shows another's guilt. And it's no ordinary magic, but the forbidden path of necromancy. It all makes sense. Shillard Fitzestelin warned me about her plot. Apparently, Triss Merigold confessed to him that the sorceresses had set up a secret lodge. Triss is working with Shillard? She's been detained as a suspect. Shillard believes the sorceresses of Nilfgaard were also part of the conspiracy. Luckily, the entire amphitheater is under a spell that quells any magic. Otherwise, no one would dare go near all those mages. Well, the talks beckon. Everyone wants to see Tamaria's bitter end. What do you mean by that, Your Majesty? The nobles are rebelling in Vizima. Lacking a ruler, they simply want to divide the kingdom into provinces. Divide Tamaria! Shame on the traitors! Well, it doesn't have to be that way. Anais, the daughter of Louisa and Foltest, lives still. After Foltest's death, the Lavalettes came to prominence. Louisa's uncle, Baron Orville, became one of the most important people in Tamaria. He wanted to see Anais on the throne, but Vizima was still in turmoil. They sent her to Loch Muin anyway to declare her queen before the entire north. During the journey, the girl was kidnapped. Arian Lavalette asked me to use my connections to find his sister, which I did. My people tell me Anais is here in Loch Muin, in Deathmold's hands. I cannot mount an armed attack on the Kedwenis. It would be tantamount to declaring war, and we have gathered here to maintain peace. A lone witcher and a former soldier. That would be a different matter. Bring me Anais, Geralt, and I'll salvage a united Temeria and punish those whose hands are stained with the Temerian King's blood. I heard Arian died in the fire that consumed Lavalette Castle. We all thought so, and we were all wrong. The girl is most important, Witcher. I denounce our engagement and make her Queen of Redania and Temeria. The nobles of Vizima would greet her on bended knee, and the North would emerge stronger than ever. I must attend these talks, Geralt. Time is short. Bring me the girl, the two of you. Men without country or commander. Renegades that no one seems to have taken into account. I, in turn, promise that Shilla de Tanzerville will pay for her deeds. I shall punish her with fire and steel. An alliance with Redania is our only chance at preserving Temeria's independence. It's still risky. Anais, she's the key. I still wonder about Boosie's death. The boy would have had a stronger claim to the throne. Maybe Anais can tell us something. It's high time we visited our old friend, Deathmold. The Emperor's men hold Triss. They'll get everything they can out of her, after which she'll be dispensable. If it's between the Sorceress's life and Temeria's future, then I've no choice. I'm sorry. All right, so in our talk with the king, this new king, the third king that we've seen, Foltest's daughter is the, uh, the true queen of the land, and we saw Boosie and the daughter. Apparently that little boy, Bad Boosie, died. Throat. Somebody she murdered him white. or something happened. And now we need to save the little girl so she can be the ruler. And uh, that's the plan, but we still have no idea where Triss is. But uh, for now, we know that the little girl is in the hands of Death Mold, and we want to kick Death Mold's ass because he's a big jerk. Roach! Just the person I'd be looking for were I not forced to seek Anais Lavalette. You have much to explain, Brigida Paperbrock. Oh no. You'll not pin this on me. I trusted you and you sent me into a den of vipers. Vipers! Another mess. This is no time for pleasantries, Geralt. Calm yourself, Brigida. You were to watch Falter's children. I saw nothing dangerous in the task. Obviously I was wrong, but I need your help. Anais has been kidnapped. Boosie is likely dead. I need to know how this happened. I need to know the details. You knew well what you were getting me into. You know that entire rotting bunch. The Count, the Baron. Not half as well as you do, my dear. Who were those men? 
Not so fast, Roach. I have been hiding in this city for three days, scurrying about like a rat. They're hunting me. I'll not let you leave me here. What do you propose? Escort me out of the city, to the river. What will that get you? I expected I would need to fend for myself. I've secured passage. Take me there, and I will tell you all. It's a long way. You've a traitor in your camp, Roach. Perhaps more than one. What happened to Faltist's bastards is no series of coincidences. It's the result of a clever, treacherous game. Damn it all. Geralt, I need to look to Anais, learn how we're to get to her. But Brigida might know what happened to Busi. Thus far, we've heard nothing but rumors. Take her to the river. All right, Roach. I'll help you this one last time. I'll search for a back way into the Kedwini camp. You're forgetting. I came here for Triss. Whatever you decide to do later, so be it. But a traitor in the Temerian camp threatens us all. Escort Brigida, learn what you can. I'd thank you, Roach, if you weren't such a shit. I'm counting on you, Geralt. Brigida must get to her destination safely. Good luck, Roach. Ah, oh, jeez. If she's hiding, we should leave she should probably not, camp. like, wear we'll her hair go. differently than every we'll other single person in the entire we'll world. Deliver. I've never we'll seen anybody with that kind of hair, Geralt that kind of dress. I'm hiding by running Blessed through the be middle be of the streets eternal. during the daytime. <laughs> Good hideout. We've just got to make it through the forest. It's a short way to the river beyond that. It should be calm. Let's go. It should be calm, meaning that it's not going to be calm in any way, shape, or form. This is definitely a trap. It's way too quiet. Full of leaves and shit. It's roaches, bitch! Kill them! Oh, damn, she actually has a health bar. Oh, that's not good. Why is she in the fight then? Oh, no. I seriously, I can't fucking save her. Look at her. She just jumps in the middle of everything. I can't win! I, I just, I literally cannot do this mission. She's the stupidest piece of shit I've ever seen. This is like the seventh time I've done this, by the way. She immediately runs into the middle. She says, fuck me! And then everywhere just goes, boom, she's dead. Can't be done. This, this, this mission can't be won. She's a fucking idiot. It's Roach's bitch! Holy Jesus. Oh my god. Can't stop me. Can't stop me. Expecting us. Oh my god. Jeez. Three hours late here. Thank you. I'd not have survived on my own. Talk yeah, no one. shit. You've dragged me far away from the city. You owe me an explanation. Who were those men? Who have you been hiding from? I... I don't know. Three days like a rat, you said. You don't know? I knew. I mean, I had my suspicions. So talk. Tell me about the Vipers. They... they created the storm. Are they working together? I would say they detest one another. Or oh, that's what they wish everyone to believe. It's the devil only knows. Count intends? No, but I cannot imagine anyone more different from Baron Kimbolt. Meaning? I would call him a sheep were his heart not black. He's a jester, an especially nasty one, though I cannot identify his master. He may not even have one. What does Baron Kimbolt want? A strong Temeria, and a strong North. He's obsessed. He believes we're surrounded by rebels and traitors. The Lavalettes, the Maravels. He's probably not alone in that belief. But he is alone in believing that he himself is the remedy for that ailment. The Baron sees himself on the Temerian throne. He claimed he would achieve this by marrying Anais. Isn't she a little young for him? He's a disgusting old setter. He'd be a tyrant were he to don the crown. Seems you got to know the Baron and the Count well. Then there's Roach. Pretty interesting social life, I'd say. 
Being a courtier, that was no life for me. I thought it terribly dull and found a remedy. Searching for excitement shouldn't get you killed. It's the last time I do anything of the sort. You can't be sure of that. Is Vernon the only person you do favors for? I've never betrayed Tamaria, if that's what you ask. What happened to the convoy carrying Anais and Busi? What about the children? We were ambushed. The caravan was destroyed. I need details. We were traveling along the agreed path, with a limited escort so as not to draw attention. The children were in two separate wagons, a safety measure, I was told. Which one were you in? I was with Anais. One day a messenger appeared with orders for the caravan's commander. A change of plans. We turned north to travel a longer route for safety's sake. Soon after the turn-off, we were attacked. And oddly enough, I was wearing the same cloak. I appreciate how they use the same three NPCs for every single character in the entire game. It's a little lame. The attackers were killing everyone indiscriminately. One pulled me from the wagon, but a bolt pierced his neck. It was mayhem. I ran for the bushes and hid. Did you see what happened to the children? The driver of Boosie's wagon was shot. The horses got spooked and ran off into the forest, taking the wagon with them. When the fighting was done, they found Anais still in her wagon. I turned away for fear of what they might do. They nearly grabbed her and fled. Any idea what happened to the caravan commander's orders? I had them. After they took Anais, the bastards were in a hurry. They didn't even think to search the corpses. Take them. Thanks. Sure you can manage that boat? I must. I'll not return to the city. Thank you again, Witcher. And follow this through. You'll do us all a favor. So we're back in the city, and we're on the trail of Foltest's children. We don't know if Boosie's dead. I, they said that Boofy was dead, but he might not be, and he's got the best I case I believe there's the, been a misunderstanding, my lord. Get out, before I call my guards. And what might I convey? Nothing. Baron, sir, you gave your word. For the last time, out! Tend to this matter. The convoy carrying Anais and Busi was ambushed. Why? I'd like to know that myself. I've seen your letter to Horst Lubbock, the one in which you ordered him to abandon the planned route. Nonsense! I sent no such letter. The letter bears your seal and signature, Baron. Where is it? I have it. Show me. You'll have to take my word. The word of a wandering monster slayer means nothing to me. If that's the situation, I've said all I have to say. I wrote no such letter. Words come cheap, Baron finding it hard to believe you. I care little for what you believe. If this letter exists, we are dealing with a forgery. Whoever is behind this has crossed a Temerian noble and will be duly punished. My scribe will test the letter and confirm what I claim. All right. I'll see what this scribe has to say. There are objective means of examining the letter's authenticity. I promise to pay you well for learning the truth. Hmm. The truth does taste better when payment's involved. You were right, Baron. The letter's forged. Of course I was right. I would never seek to hurt Boosie. Bastard or not, he is still a child. Your payment, Witcher. So right now, we have to decide yeah, if we want to try to go save Triss, or help Roach recover the children. And I'm not exactly sure what to do. I think it's about time, honestly, that we went to save Triss. I mean, she's been, like, on her own this entire time. I feel a little bit bad about that. 
All right, guys, we're gonna pick it up next time with saving Triss, finally, hopefully, maybe, possibly. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed playing it, and I'll see you in the next one. See you guys.